Like I said earlier, in in autism, where where we think that inflammation and cytokines are are very important to this to, to this condition, and, and the use of exosomes have helped us a lot. Now, with with inflammatory conditions such as Crohn's disease or rheumatoid arthritis, for example, or, or even MS. It's becoming more important to use exosomes in the treatments because we've seen, again, breakthroughs in the in the results we're getting. So I, I think, but by by using the, the the healthy amount of stem cells that we're using in the intervals that we provide, as well as the exosomes, we've been able to improve the outcomes of these patients. Specifically speaking, with uh, with autoimmune, highly inflammatory conditions. I have a testimonial for, for, from a patient and, and this has been one of my, my best patients so far. When he came in, the, there was a lot of deformity in both hands and there was, he also stated that he wasn't able to make a fist in eight years. We provided the treatment with the, the, the stem cells and also with exosomes and three weeks after he sent me pictures where he was making a fist and for a person that that's been stiff for so much much time this is a great deal of difference especially with with these types of conditions like rheumatoid arthritis i'm seeing a lot of changes now that that we're uh, stacking the treatment up with the stem cells and the exosomes as well <laughs>